hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome today's video is gonna be about this product from urban hydration i'm gonna be using this product on my hair and also review them for you so if you want to see how this product work stay tuned and let's get started the first thing i obviously did in the shower is to wet my hair and then i went in with the Urban Hydration Jamaica Castor Oil and Avocado Shampoo and Detangler. So this is the step one in the process. It is a very creamy shampoo and it lathers really well. It cleans my scalp, but it says it's a detangler, but it doesn't really detangle my hair. It have minimum detangling properties. I followed up the shampoo with the Urban Hydration Coconut Oil Cold Wash and conditioner this conditioner has argan oil ginger essential oil pro vitamin b5 and aloe vera the sleep on this conditioner is okay it's not super detangling it doesn't have a great sleep so i have to keep going in with a lot to be able to detangle my hair with it however it's not bad at all it's just not something that i'll reach out for if i want to detangle my hair really well next thing I use is the coconut oil max and deep conditioner I really love this is I left it in my hair for 15 minutes to let it process after putting it in and I was able to detangle a little bit with it I left it in and then I took my shower and then I wash it off that I'm out of the shower I'm gonna be doing a wash and go so I'm section off my hair and I'm applying water to re-wet my hair and then I'll go in with a coconut oil hair cream this is not super thick and it's not super light it's just the right consistency for a cream after that I'm going to go in with the coconut oil styling gel and it looks just like a clay gel and I applied that all over my hair it really clamps your curls it define your curls i really love the gel it's just it's super def it's, it's a super defining gel it really does a good job with defining your curls so i really love the gel i went all over my head with that and then you will see me in the end applying the oil <laughs> This is the three of the wash and go. It's holding on pretty well. I did it on Sunday, so this is like today's Wednesday, so day four. Yeah, before the wash and go, it's holding up pretty well. I couldn't uh, film the result the day after because I had class. I'm back to school and I'm busy and you come back from class, you're tired and it's just hard to pull out the camera and make a video. So. This is day four and it's holding on pretty well. The product gave me um, a great definition. Focus. Focus. Okay. So I'm gonna give you like a quick run to through of the product. I'm standing in front of my bed because my camera is messing up when I sit down, it just doesn't get me in the view and I just can't, I just need to stand here. The first thing I use is the coconut oil shampoo and detangler. It has argan oil, ginger, essential oil, pro vitamin B5, and aloe leaf. Um, and this is color safe. 
as a shampoo I really like this it gets the job done it cleaned my scalp and I like it light as well and yeah that's all I got to say but as a detangler I think it has a little bit of sleep and you don't want to depend on this to tangle your hair then I have the coconut oil co-wash and conditioner this has sleep but not a lot of sleep not a ton of sleep I kept going in with more and yeah so let me see how it smells like all of this have a really really pleasant scent it smells like candy honestly it's good for natural hair relax hair and color treated hair and it's supposed to promote growth I can tell you about that cuz I've used it just once and yeah like I said it has um it detangles it detangles but it's not like a super slippery conditioner yeah and it doubles up as a co-wash which is a good thing because the day you don't feel like using a shampoo you can just use only this and then I went in with a coconut oil max and deep conditioner all of these have Jamaican castor oil and avocado in them because that is the whole line and I also have argan oil, ginger, essential oil, essential oil, aloe leaf, and pro vitamin B5. And this product has steps on them, so I think they just kind of tell you how to use them. And this is the shampoo is step one, the conditioner is step two, and this is step three. And this it looks like this is thick but it's not like super thick I like the deep conditioner I think it got a job done I left it in for like 15 minutes even though I said I was going to leave it in for 20 minutes I left it in for 15 minutes so yeah I really like the deep conditioner the next thing I use is the coconut oil curl cream and let me see this and the deep conditioner has the same consistency and it's just I used a lot of this I don't know if see I use a lot of products so I don't know why I used a lot I just use a lot of products there's no reason I just use a lot of products so I did use a lot of this and it doesn't flake it didn't flake in my hair which is a good thing it just melted into my hair but I don't think it's very moisturizing I'll tell you why when I tell you about the gel and this is step 5 they have an oil which is supposed to be step 4 I don't know how this is supposed to be step 4 I did not use it as step 4 I use this as step 4 because I don't go in with oil and then and then um, and the cream oils are mostly the last thing that I use so I don't know maybe some people do I don't so I just swap it up so we have two step five which I use as two step four so I went in with a cold cream which I used a lot and then I went in with a gel the gel gives you a great definition it makes your curls pop it makes your curls clump and I really love the gel but the only thing that um, I think it did is it made my hair dry I mean I still kept my hair for like four days but it is a little bit dry and it's a little bit drier than I I normally like my hair to be so yeah that's what a gel does it does give you definition though it gives a ton of definition so I think next time if I have to use it I'll probably use a super moisturizing leave-in before I go in with a gel so yeah I normally moisturize my hair using the LCO method so after everything I went in with the gel oh I went after everything I went in with the oil so as usual I'm going to link the products in the description but if if you have TJ Maxx around you you can easily find it there and they are always on sale so you can always find it at TJ Maxx but I'll be sure to link it in the description so yeah the oil is super light it's supposed to be a hair serum but it is 
super light it doesn't have a serum consistency so it's like this see it's like super light make it a mess no wasting over here okay Smells good too. That's all about the products. I enjoy using them. Uh, except that it wasn't super moisturizing, but I also like it. It's not something that I'll run to if I want to like moisturize my keep my hair moisturized for weeks. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the product. I love the volume I'm getting. Definition at the back. I do pull my hair in bands when I go to school Just because most of the time I don't like my hair around me. So I put my hair in bands That's why my hair is super stretched at the front But you can see that when I turn around the back is still clamped and You can see the definition over there here Alright guys, I will that'll be all for today's video and I'll see you in my next one. I'll be trying to post videos every week. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't and also hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post something new. I'm in school now. I'll try to post once a week. If I don't, just forgive me. <laughs> but I'll try to post once a week. It's not a promise, but I'll try. <laughs> Alright, so until my next video, stay blessed and beautiful. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!